The date is April 10th, 1912. The Titanic is about to set sail. Little did anybody know the fate of the unsinkable ship. Come on, Des. Don't forget your bags. Coming, Dad! <laughs> Hello, my name is Des. Sorry about my son. He's only seven. Des, apologize. Th sorry, but I see my dad do it all the time. That's okay. My name is Emma Kane. My friend's name is Elizabeth May. I hope you enjoy your stay on the Titanic. I heard that the first class passengers get a five star room. Daddy, are we first class? Yes, does. Fight the room! Fight the room! Fight the room! Come on, son, let's get to our cabin. Okay. As the passengers board the ship, the captain is upstairs with the helmsman, preparing to leave the docks. Andrew, how was our progress? All crew reports say that we are ready to go. How about the, uh, sounds great. How about the passengers? All boarded and ready. In the ballroom? Yes, sir. Well done. Might as well promote you to housekeeping. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Edward John Smith, and I would just like to welcome you onto this magni magnificent ship. We will be we will be having certain festivities while you are on this ship, including a poem contest. You are free to go anywhere you like, except for the areas marked employees only. That's all. Have a nice day. The ship disembarks from the docks. Friends and family wave goodbye to their loved ones as the ship leaves. It's April 14th, the night of the poem contest. Adam, Des, Elizabeth, and Emma accidentally find each other during breakfast. Can we sit with you? Can we sit with you? Hello, would you like to join us for breakfast? Yes, we would. Are you guys enjoying your stay on the Titanic? Yes, it's a magnificent ship. Yeah. Thank you. When is the server going to come? Whew, lousy <laughs> service. <laughs> it's like the most magnificent ship. Hello, my name is Kay King, and I will be serving you this morning. What would you like to order? Donut and bacon. Okay, next. I'll have an egg omelet with toast and bacon, please. Okay, next. French toast and sausage, please. Okay, miss. Next. I'll have some blueberry waffles, please. Up in the captain's quarters, Captain Edward John Smith and his assistant, Joey Dopp, are preparing for the poem contest. Is everyone in the ballroom? I believe so, Captain. Good. I can't f wait to find out who the winner will be. 
Well, Captain, I think you should go to get to the ballroom. I'll stay up here in the in radio on in on the watch room. All right. Are you enjoying your stay on the Titanic? Yes! Glad to hear it. Tonight we are having a poem contest. <laughs> Our contestants are Emma Kane, Elizabeth May, and David Webb. I will judge them from a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. First up, we have Emma Kane. It's unsinkable. It's an amazing boat. It's the Titanic. Very nice haiku, Emma. I would give you a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have Elizabeth May. I am doing a low coup. Big ships start sinking, people drowning and dying. The Titanic. I enjoyed that poem. I would also give you a 9 out of 10. But last but not least, we have David Webb. Yeah! I am doing a coup loop. The Titanic is unsinkable. When you stand on the deck, you can see the seagulls. Different festivities every night. They make me tired for when I turn out the light. The Titanic is the best ship around, sailing through the ocean without a sound. Upstairs, Joey Dopp is preparing to radio into the watchman, James Smithfield. James, do you see anything in the ahead of us? Nope. Wait, I think I see something big. Maybe a glacier. Hard to port! Hard to port! Andrew, hard to port! Hard to port! Downstairs, the captain is preparing to judge David Webb, when suddenly, BOOM! In the coal room, James Johnson is putting coal into the engines. Just then, water gushes through a hole in the ship's side. <laughs> Suddenly, the ship's light go out. It raises into a vertical position and sinks into the freezing water. Up in the captain's quarters, Edward John Smith stares out the window. The captain always goes down by the ship. He says as the, sink, as the ship sinks into the water.